hello and welcome to this tutorial which is basically for one person but other people may find this of help as well um, I was asked whether it's possible to transfer one of Sarah's old programs which was called page plus which was a desktop publisher um, had its own file type which was dot ppp and this person wanted to know whether Affinity Publisher could open these .ppp files. So I told her that they they couldn't be, but I would test whether it's possible um, to just copy and paste the file from Page Plus into Affinity Photo. I mean, I did suggest to just use the PDF method, but she did ask whether it was possible. So I. I'm just doing this quick test to show her and you what you can and can't do when transferring your old .ppp files into Affinity Photo. Now this is something I did back in about 2008, 2009, something like that. And it's just four pages and you know, there's text, there's doc um, images, there might be a bit of artistic test in there somewhere but so I'm going to sort of just try and copy and paste this into Affinity Publisher so first of all I need to select all so this is in page plus 19 or X9 um, it took Serif you know, the best part of 20 plus years to get to version X9 um, so yeah, they do stick with their products for quite a while and they have then updated this what was a PC only program and they've updated it so the new Affinity programs will work in both the PC, the Mac and the iPad and then the files are all interchangeable but getting back to the point of this so I've selected this and it is only selecting the one page it's not selecting all four but once I selected it and then I come to there and copy then go to Affinity Publisher start a new document and I'll make this A4 like the original was and then if I come to edit and paste as you can see this has pasted this in but very very small so I will need to resize this and it's a sort of guesswork as to exactly how that will fit the page but it doesn't seem to sort of distort or pixelate in any way so in that respect it is okay and if I open up the group that this has been pasted in as you can see you've got the image layer you've got or two image layers and then you've got a load and I do mean a load of text layers you know like some of them for example I mean if I click on this one are we on the move tool? yes we are so that layer is just that little bit of text up there which is the dot berg um, that layer is just the word R and that is the bullet point so you've got a layer just for in some cases sentences in some cases it might just be a single comma so you do have an awful lot of text layers so if you then wanted to edit this and it is possible um, you know, I could come in here and then change the spelling you know, it would be a lot of hard work to find the exact space where you, you know, the layer that you wanted and work with it that way. So that is the copy and paste from Paste Plus into Affinity Photo. It does work, but it's a lot of faffing about. So let me open the PDF version of this. Right, so now I've sort of I'm starting to open this in Affinity Publisher click OK so this is the PDF version 
opened in Affinity Publisher. So as you can see I do have all four pages here but looking at the first page we just have four layers the two images and the text layer so this first one here you know I've selected it so the whole image box is open and I can come in and edit this if I wanted to because you know once it's opened in Affinity Publisher a PDF is editable and it is much more manageable because they are opened just like in this case four layers two layers of which are text so I don't have hundreds of different layers you know with just commas or just the word and on it so in that respect it's much easier to use the PDF way of moving the file over from Page Plus into Affinity Photo. So I do hope this helps explain this far easier than I could when I was answering her questions on Facebook and hopefully it may help some other people. So thank you for watching and goodbye.